everybody <laughs> welcome back to my channel my name is Brittany for those of you that do not know I also go by sincerely Brittany today I am here with another bartender bottle girl series video um, I've seen some of you guys's comments and questions and I'm so happy um, so I'm so happy to make this video today because it is going to be about interviewing for your job and um questions and how did the interview go from my experiences so if this is something that you are interested in sorry if you hear my dog in the background and this is something that you are interested in stay tuned i'm really excited for this video all right enough of me babbling let's get to it so i'm excited to make this video video for you guys i wanted to make it a little bit sooner but i just went on a um bartender and bottle girl um interviews so i wanted to make sure i got gather all the information that i could wrote down some questions and some things that i remember from past interviews that i have gone to um where some some of them i got the job and some of them y'all i got turned down um so let's get into them all right so the first question i wrote these down so y'all going i might be looking not at the cameras because i'm looking at my computer um first question that i usually always get asked on the interview is have you ever worked in the club environment before um i want to say 90 percent of the clubs and places that i interview for um, especially the clubs they ask me have i ever worked in the club environment before of course now the answer to the question for me is yes because i had some experience however i remember my first club interview i um i told them the, tr the truth i told them i never been um working in the club but i had been in types of clubs like this multiple times and very confident that i can do the job um i told them i had past like experience with selling and customer service you know you just gotta finesse your way through it if you don't have any experience and also um even if you don't have experience you ain't gotta tell the truth like me tell them you have make up like talk us say some club name that's in a whole different state a club that closed down so they can't even call them for a reference question two do you have any bottle girl bartending experience um of course now i do but before i did not um that one i probably told the truth but that one you can also finesse and say that you have done like um you've been in the club um for instance, if you're in Philly, you could say that you worked for Club Onyx before. Club Onyx closed down. They could never call them. And when they ask, what did you do? All you got to tell them is um, for a bottle girl, you served bottles. The way y'all went about that is you sold, sold bottles to sections. Bottle, bottles cost, say, like $300. Um, you got them from the back. Y'all did the light show. Um, you prepared juices, sections, tables, that mess. Um, that's how you can finesse that answer. If you don't want to say you never like had experience before. All right. Question three. Um, was what do you currently do? I've gotten asked that multiple times. Um, even on my bottle girl bartender resume i actually have the university that i graduated from and the current job that i have um i i have two different resumes i have my professional resume and my bartender bottle girl one but i don't think there's an issue with like having a a club resume of the history for putting like if you went to school or like your current job because some of that stuff shows that you have experience at other places it shows that you have like an education even if you don't have like club experiences it shows that oh she went to school she's probably gonna learn fast um so i usually get asked that question as well number four and this is in one of the interviews that i bombed <laughs> recently but sometimes they will try and throw you off i once was asked to name five types of hennessy i don't know no five types of hennessy y'all i did not i had to say i got through two types of hennessy but he saw me struggling through that he was like if you don't know say you don't know uh, so sometimes they might try and throw y'all off that all depends on what type of club you're going for when i got asked this question i was applying for in upscale gentlemen's clubs 
and I might have talked about this in my first bartending bottle girl series video the difference is um, some of them are more like urban environment you might hear more hip-hop stuff and some clubs the, if they're strip clubs are can be gentlemen's clubs where you'll get older crowds um, variation of guys they're they're older they might have professional jobs professional degrees they tend to make a lot more money um so if you're going for like a club like that really study like different types of alcohol so you're not bombing stuff like me study like different types of drink that's drinks that might have like cognac bourbon whiskey if you're going to go more for the gentlemen's clubs but if it's an urban club you're probably not going to be asked that um but yeah i was asked to name five types of hennessy i will put this in the video for you guys because i don't want none of y'all to be like oh i got asked that question and i heard in your video and i still don't know the answer so i'm gonna give y'all the answers um so y'all not looking crazy like me um so there's one hennessy xo two hennessy vsop three hennessy paradise imperial four hennessy black and five hennessy richard remember those i'm gonna put it either here or here in the video write those down remember those you're gonna definitely get the job if you could probably name them all right another question do you know anything about this club and that's where to me um instagram snapchat stalking comes into play don't be afraid to stalk a club on instagram even if you don't follow them because you'll get to see like what this club is about you might really want to go down and scroll to the first picture on their instagram because you'll find out how they started who are the owners when did they open but you want to know something about the club because even though it's a nightclub like a waitressing bottle girl club people want to know that you do your research with any job so definitely research the club if you can however you got to do it just get it done um two do you know anything about selling one of the is one of the questions that i've bombed um in a in the interview was they asked me how to make a specific drink of course i got the drink right the reason they were impressed is because they were like you just you just possibly cost me extra money because you did not ask this customer did they want to upgrade to a premium brand so upselling if a person wants to order a bottle of like vodka that's not that's like more of the cheaper one regular ones be like well you can possibly get Ciroc for an extra 50 dollars you know they already spent 200 on a bottle what's another 50. um so if they ask you about alcohol you know impress them be like well they ordered this i'm going to ask them do they want a premium um a higher brand alcohol next question um i've gotten asked this interviewing for a gentleman's club it said um a customer's change is twenty dollars what type of change do you give them um for that now working in um sales and customer service i know the answer right off the bat but whatever way if you are asked this question if it's like a 20 give them give the customer a 10 a five and five once why because with you giving them a 10 they might tip you just that 10. however if you get them a five they might just tip you a five but if you get them once they can tip you anywhere between one dollar and twenty dollars with the ones so um definitely it doesn't even have to be a five a ten and five ones it could be a ten and ten ones just make sure you got some ones in there some fives in there it's not like oh their change is a 20 i gave them a 20 or i gave them two tens um sometimes they might ask why should they choose you and that's to see like your confidence um you know sometimes when you do auditions there's a lot of girls that come in like i said in my first video where they're only spending five five minutes with you max so that's where you definitely want to show off a little bit like hype yourself up first of all when y'all go in there especially for a job like that sometimes like i always get a little nervous like interviewing for whatever position but on my way there while i'm in the car driving however I, i'm getting there i'm always with the mindset of i'm the best girl that's about to walk up in there so always that's that question is when you hype yourself up you can be a little conceited if you want to you want to be they want to see that confidence um 
next question some of them gentlemen's clubs more gentlemen's clubs will ask you do you have any tattoos some of them don't really like tattoos like that or some of them don't really like a lot of tattoos they might ask you that and um another question that i've also been asked is do you have any scars or stretch stretch marks if so where and y'all like i told y'all in my video um, my breast reduction video that i had a breast reduction i still have my scars that are healing up over here i still have stretch marks like here from having big tits and like here on my arms so honestly like say no <laughs> like just say no if you don't if they're because honestly most people most girls have stretch marks and scars somewhere don't be um embarrassed about them still be confident in yourself still um wear what makes you feel confident like i'm wearing this now and y'all can see them and honestly i always feel very confident so um you guys um that's the questions that i usually encounter in these interviews i hope they help you i hope some of my example answers help you guys as well if you like this video please like comment and subscribe for people that are liking and commenting thank you guys for the ongoing support i see all of you guys's comments um i saw one one comment that says she went to apply to a club um, in Chicago when she didn't get it or they asked her did she have waitressing experience like I said y'all even if y'all don't have experience finesse it because honestly when you get hired they gonna have to train you anyway so I hope that helps um don't get discouraged by getting one rejection I got multiple re rejections and I got multiple um offers to work there so definitely have confidence in yourself i believe in you guys i'm going to put a picture of an example um photo that i submit as well as um hopefully i can get my bartending bottle girl resume somewhere in here so you guys can see that as well but other than that um i hope to continue to hear from you guys with your experiences if you guys are going to walk into clubs to apply i wish you guys the best of luck please let me know if you get hired and i'm rooting for y'all until next time, you guys, follow me on Instagram at Sincerely Brittany. I'm wearing Mocahannas tresses. Until next time, I don't know. Happy weekend, you guys. Um, I'll talk to y'all later.